What's going on guys? Brian here, and I'm going to bring you a little bit of Battlefield 3 gameplay today. <clears throat> I cut out the first maybe three and a half, maybe four minutes of this video, because I was playing with the assault rifle, and I decided to switch over to the sniper rifle, just to try something a little bit different. And as you'll see right there, a three hit kill for the sniper rifle. I think they're definitely a little bit underpowered, from what I've noticed, just from playing a couple of games as a sniper. And I'm not really going to give you guys a review or any of my early impressions. Because honestly, I've only played this for a few hours so far. The first day upon release, I really wasn't able to connect to a game. I got disconnected after about halfway through a game of Team Deathmatch. And I didn't get on to the play at all last night, which was Friday. So I really haven't had a lot of time to put into this so far. So for me to give you guys any, you know, like I said, impressions or reviews would definitely be way too premature on my part. Look at this super sexy close-up kill with the sniper rifle. <laughs> but I will say one thing though, you really do need to adjust your play style, which is the one thing that I think I'm having the most difficulty adjusting to from playing Call of Duty for so long now. You know, from playing Modern Warfare 2 for the last, what, four or five months since I quit playing Black Ops. So I'm trying to rush a little bit too much. And this is definitely a much more tactical and strategic type game. You know, some might call it campy. I mean, I, that thought was running through my head a lot in my early first few games. You know, I kept saying campy, campy, campy. But, you know, it's me really meant to simulate more of a real type of battle environment. So I guess, you know, that does apply somewhat. But like I said, I'm not going to give you guys any more details on that because like I said, I really want to play this a lot more before I come to any final conclusions on the game. But the one thing I did want to talk about is how this game and Modern Warfare 3 and comparing it to COD has really blown up on Twitter the last several days. I mean, ever since, even before this was released, I mean, people have been talking about, you know, how this game is going to suck, Modern Warfare 3 is going to blow it out of the water. People talk about how Battlefield is such a better game and Modern Warfare sucks. Why do people take it so damn personal? I mean, some of the things I saw people saying to others on Twitter, I mean, they're taking it so personal like you're talking about their mother or their sister. I mean, it's a video game, guys. I mean, we're supposed to be passionate gamers first and foremost. And, I mean, look at this. I spawned right in front of a guy. I don't know if he was in our spawn or what, but nice easy kill for me there. I mean, why do people take it so damn personal to actually start attacking other people because of their preference in a video game? I mean, I, it's almost, you know, harkens back to the console wars and, you know, oh, Xbox sucks, PS3 sucks, you're an idiot for having that console. You know, a lot of the things people were saying on Twitter, you know, just basically saying if you like Battlefield, you're a freaking moron and this game is garbage and why would anyone want to play that? It's crap. It's going to die in two weeks once Bat Modern Warfare 3 hits. You know, I mean, I'm not a fanboy of any game. I'm a gamer first and foremost. I like to try different games. I'm going to play whatever I can. You know, budget permitting, I'm going to buy every game that seems interesting that I think I might like to play. Do I like every single game that I buy? No. I mean, I wasn't a huge fan of Medal of Honor after I picked that up several months ago. You know, I played it for a couple months, gave it a try, and I didn't like it, so I stopped playing it. You know, I played Black Ops for, what, six months, give or take? I posted, I don't know how many videos of it before I started getting a little bit more tired of that, so I went back to Modern Warfare 2. You know, but I'm not going to say anyone that plays Black Ops is an idiot. A lot of people enjoy it, and that's cool. You know, we're supposed to be gamers. You know, we this is supposed to be fun and a hobby for us. So, I mean, if you're doing it for fun and you're doing this for a hobby, play what you like. I mean, don't personally attack other people for their preferences or their opinions. I mean, it, it's just it's just getting a little out of hand, in my opinion. And you know, it actually, somewhat I don't know if offends me is the right word to use, but. Just how people just attack others for their opinions and their points of view about a video game. To the point of calling people idiots and morons and... I mean, I'm not, I can, I can't even, I'm not even going to say some of the things I heard people saying. Just about the fact that they like a game. There's no need to personally attack anyone over their preferences. And just say that you enjoy it and you're entitled to your opinion and I like this, it's okay if you don't. And like I said, this is all supposed to be just for fun. 
You know, like I said, I don't even know if I'm going to like Battlefield 3 long term, but I'm not going to bash anyone that does. I mean, some people have played Battlefield 1, Battlefield 2, some people played on a PC, some people played on a console. And that's cool. You know, whatever you enjoy playing on, whatever platform you enjoy playing it on, that's perfectly fine. Like I said, this is supposed to be fun, guys. It's not personal. There's no need to attack and degrade and put down other people for what they enjoy playing. So, I mean, that's pretty much the end of my rant on that. Like I said, I am going to try to play Battlefield a lot more this weekend. And hopefully I'll see some of you guys online. Maybe we can get into a squad together, try this out. And hopefully I can continue my adjustment period and get a little more comfortable with this and get, you know, unlock some more of the guns, maybe some more of the attachments, and hopefully have some better games than I've had so far. I mean, KD to me isn't important the same as, you know, a Gears of War 3. You know, I just play this for fun. I'm not taking it overly seriously. I do completely understand this is a completely different type of game than Call of Duty. Like I said, I gotta slow my roll a little bit. And like I said, play a little smarter. And like I said, I lose this game here. And I think I still finished the second place on my team. And like I, said, I think I went 11 and 10. Yeah, I went 11 and 10 and finished second on my team. I, you know, I had some fun, tried something different. And, you know, for any of you guys that have this, I hope you enjoy it. Any tips you can give me, I would really appreciate to try to help me improve as soon as possible. And, you know, hopefully I'll catch up with you, some of you guys over the weekend. And as always, I hope you really enjoyed the video. I will talk to all you soon, and I hope you have a good one.